The first thing we did was take Flat Stanley to visit our school. The name of our school is very long. It's called Wai Guo Yu Shi Yan Shui Xiao. That means Foreign Language Experimental School. Here's Flat Stanley at school. Flat Stanley learned that in our school, the students have two teachers when they learn English. One is an American teacher, and one is a Chinese teacher who can speak both Chinese and English. Flat Stanley came to Katie's office to meet a Chinese teacher named Miss Chu. Flat Stanley learned how to say hello in Chinese. They say, can you guess how to pronounce it? It sounds just like ni hao. Now you can say hello in Chinese too. Flat Stanley learned how to write ni hao in Chinese. He sure studied hard at our school. Flat Stanley also got to participate in our Halloween party. Can you guess which one he is? Flat Stanley says, Roar! Happy Halloween! Our school has a little zoo. It has chipmunks, monkeys, cats, parrots, pigs, peacocks, goats, and rabbits. Can you guess which animal Flat Stanley liked best? Flat Stanley likes just hanging around the pig pen. All the fifth grade students in Katie's class got a special award. I'm sure you can guess what, which award Flat Stanley won. Flattest student. Flat Stanley said he wanted to take a walk around our neighborhood. We told him to be careful, but Flat Stanley almost got swept away. Then, when Flat Stanley saw a pagoda nearby, he did something even more dangerous. Be careful, Flat Stanley! After that, we decided to keep a closer eye on Flat Stanley. We went to the Forbidden City, where the emperors of old China used to live. It was a windy day, so we held on to Flat Stanley tightly. Flat Stanley was hungry after all that walking. We went downtown to take him out to supper. But oh no! Where did Flat Stanley go now? What do you want for supper? Cockroaches? Flat Stanley? Scorpions? Crickets? Usually, Chinese people don't eat food like that for supper. They like to eat food like beef, pork, tofu, rice, eggplant, tomatoes, and eggs. One big difference in China is that instead of forks, we all use chopsticks. The Chinese word for chopsticks is kuai zi. Flat Stanley likes to use chopsticks. Now that Flat Stanley was getting used to China, we decided to take him traveling. Most Chinese people take a train or a bus when they travel. Since train tickets sell out fast, we decided to take a bus. This bus had little beds instead of seats. <sighs> Good night. This bus was so crowded that Flat Stanley had to sit in the trash can. The first place we went was the Great Wall. This part of the wall is almost 2,000 years old. It's very high in the mountains. Flat Stanley got tired climbing on the Great Wall. The Great Wall stretches across China for more than 2,000 miles. But Flat Stanley didn't want to walk that far. Flat Stanley said, this wall sure is great. Next, we took Flat Stanley to Inner Mongolia in the north of China. There are deserts there, and it can be very hot in the summer. When Flat Stanley saw the desert, of course what he wanted to do was ride a camel. We said, okay, let's go. Next, 
we went to Gansu province in western China. There, Flat Stanley saw a lot of cornfields and said, hey, I know how to pick corn. Flat Stanley helped his new friend bring in the harvest. After that, we went to Yunnan province in southern China. There are wild elephants here, but I guess they are really shy because we didn't get to see any. In a small village in Yunnan, Flat Stanley made some new friends. He practiced saying ni hao to them, and they practiced saying hello to him. Flat Stanley made friends with these girls from Yunnan. While we were traveling, Mariah's Aunt Kathy and Uncle Tom decided to come to China to visit also. We all traveled to Xi'an, which was the capital city in ancient China. They have an old city wall that is really wide. Flat Stanley had fun on vacation with the McElroy family. One thing China is famous for is its lovely, peaceful gardens. We traveled to eastern China to the city of Suzhou. Suzhou is known as the city of gardens. Flat Stanley had fun playing in the beautiful gardens. Many of the gardens are also temples where people pray to the Buddha. The Buddha is often shown as a happy, fat, bald man. Flat Stanley enjoyed meditating in the Buddha's peaceful garden. The last thing that Flat Stanley wanted to see was celebrations for the Chinese New Year. The New Year is the most special holiday in China, just like Christmas is in America. People wear red clothes, red is a lucky color, set off firecrackers, and visit their relatives. They also eat lots of special food, just like we do at Christmas time. Flat Stanley's favorite food was sugar cane. To eat it, you bite off a big piece, swallow all the sugar juice, then spit out the husk. Flat Stanley tried to steal my sugar cane stick on Chinese New Year's Eve. <laughs>